once again welcome back to your gk buddy friends in the last video we had expressed our apprehension that the shadow of covid is deepening on the ongoing ipl season 14 on 3rd may it was announced that kolkata night riders versus royal challengers bangalore match would be rescheduled due to kolkata night riders players contracting covid then on 4th announcement of postponement of the tournament has come many playing sides are affected people in the supporting systems are affected of course the safety of people cannot be compromised let us wait for things to improve fast and hope for the tournament to restart by the time the postponement came 29 out of the 60 matches of ipl season 14 have been completed the points table has started reflecting the chances of the teams and at times it has become a snake and ladder game we will discuss about it at a later stage as usual we had an encouraging response for the ipl quiz file circulated through our glide app and google quiz form with this video we will be releasing our ipl quiz 6 watch this video for the qr codes to open this quiz both on the glide app and google form you don't have to download any app scanning the codes will open the apps and the quiz you can then just follow the instructions that will come up and play the quiz happy quizzing before we go ahead with reviewing of the matches we will have a look at the answers to the questions in the previous quiz 5 circulated this is the first question who is the first batsman to score 6000 runs in ipl is it rohit sharma or is it virat kohli or is it shikhar dhawan it is virat kohli he crossed 6000 runs while playing against rajasthan royals in the 16th match of ipl season 14 Here comes the next question. Who scored the highest number of runs in IPL batting at the position 8? Is it Harbhajan Singh or is it Pat Cummins or is it Andre Russell? It is Pat Cummins playing for Kolkata Knight Riders. He scored 66 not out against Chennai Super Kings in IPL season 14. Here comes the next question. Who scored 36 runs in an over first in IPL after Chris Gayle did it in 2011 season playing for Royal Challengers Bangalore is it Yuvraj Singh or is it Ravindra Jadeja or is it Rohit Sharma it is Ravindra Jadeja he scored 36 runs in the last over of Chennai Super Kings innings against Royal Challengers Bangalore on 25th of April this is the next question Who was the first bowler to bowl two consecutive maiden overs in IPL history? Is it Mohammad Siraj or is it Lasith Malinga or is it Jaspreet Bumrah? It is Mohammad Siraj of Royal Challengers Bangalore to bowl two consecutive maiden overs first in IPL history. He achieved this while playing against Kolkata Knight Riders in IPL season 13 on 21st October 2020. and that is the final question who bowled the first ball in ipl history was it vinay kumar or was it ishan sharma or was it pravin kumar it was pravin kumar of royal challengers bangalore who bowled the first ball in ipl history and it was saurav gangli who faced that ball now let's have a look at the matches that were played after the last video the 26th match of ipl 14 was played between Punjab Kings and Royal Challengers Bangalore we could see a resurgence of Punjab Kings the captain KL Rahul led from the front scoring 91 of 57 balls and they posted a score of 179 for 5 in the allotted 20 overs then their bowlers did an excellent job to bowl out Royal Challengers Bangalore for 145 runs for 8 wickets Harpreet Bhar playing his first match of the tournament picked up the wickets of virat kohli glen maxwell and ab de villiers to return a figure of four overs one maiden and three wickets for 19 runs now the match number 
Chennai Super Kings scored 218 runs to raise a formidable challenge to Mumbai Indians. Rohit and Quinton D. Cock gave a good opening stand of 71 runs in 7.1 overs, but then wickets fell in quick succession. They were 3 for 81 at 9.4 overs. The run rate required was about 14 per hour at that time for about 10 overs. Nobody gave Mumbai Indians in their current form a chance at that point. I wanted to take my eyes off the screen shifting the channel, but I came back seeing some lightning and saw the whole sky lit up by the Pollard fireworks. He zoomed to 50 in 17 balls. In the last three overs, the asking rate was 16 per hour and Pollard got a hand from Hardik Pandya in the form of two sixes in the 19th over. 16 runs were needed in the last over and Pollard finished the game in the last ball. Earlier, Chennai Super Kings in the last five hours plundered 82 runs mostly contributed by Ambati Raidu's 72 not out in 27 balls. Then the match number 28 between Rajasthan Royals and Sunrisers Hyderabad. Josh Butler's maiden IPL century helped Rajasthan Royals to post a formidable total of 220 runs for three wickets. Sunrisers Hyderabad had a reasonably good openings partnership of 57 runs in 6.1 hours, but both the openers fell soon after the power play and the inning folded up for 165 runs for eight wickets. And that was a 55 runs comprehensive victory for Rajasthan Royals. Now the match number 29 that was played between Punjab Kings and Delhi Capitals. Since KL Rahul underwent an operation for appendicitis, Mayang Agarwal captained Punjab Kings. Mayang played a brilliant innings and scored 99 not out for 58 balls, but Punjab Kings could score only 166 for 6 wickets in the allotted hours. Anchored by Shigar Dhawan, who scored 69 not out, Delhi Capital achieved the score in 17.4 overs for 3 wickets, and that was a 7 wickets victory for Delhi Capitals. And then came the rescheduling of the 30th match and the postponement. Now, Let's have a look at the points table at the time of postponement of the tournament. Delhi Capitals has moved to the top of the table. Delhi Capital, Chennai Super Kings, Royal Challengers Bangalore and Mumbai Indians continue to occupy the first four sports, though there have been shuffling among them. Sunrisers Hyderabad continue to occupy the bottom of the table. There are 27 more matches to be played before the playoff route. Let's hope that the tournament will make a comeback and we would once again be able to celebrate season 4. Now about quiz number 6. We have released the quiz number 6 with this video. You can scan the QR code appearing on the screen and open the Glide app. Then register and play. Best of luck. You can also open this app using the web address ipl quiz dot glide app dot io and then the quiz on google form the link will be available on the facebook account of your gk buddy or you can scan the qr code now appearing on the screen and play straight away it's very disappointing that the tournament has been postponed but let us be optimistic so that is the story up to now hope you enjoyed watching our videos and that these have been useful Please subscribe to our channel and keep the notification open so that I can notify you when I am ready with the next video. We value our feedback very much. Please communicate with us through the comment section. Thank you for watching. Watch against Corona and be safe. See you soon.